just the moment we step through the rift. Can you counteract this correction somehow with Ambrosia? I doubt it. Trying to counteract an eventuality with Ambrosia is probably as helpful as putting a warm compress around your neck after someone has decapitated you. So how far from one's eventuality can you go? How should I know? One would have to experiment to find that out. And considering what's at stake, I think that's a bad idea. Understood. What else? Well, let me put it this way. I'd actually prefer to go through the rift by myself, but knowing you, I doubt you'd stay behind. But, and this is important, once we're there, please don't follow me. Look around, explore the area, do whatever you feel like doing, but let me carry out my task in peace. Please. Why with secrecy? Just tell me what it is you're planning to do over there. It involves a person who was once very important to me. Are you satisfied, or do I need to pour out my whole heart to you? All right. Good. Now let's waste no more time, shall we? Here, take this and cast it at my command. Do it from... Mm, wait. Yes, from over there. Let's begin. Uh, I can't do anything except look around. I can't move, I can't right click, I can't left click. I can't open menus. I can pause, but that's it. I guess I have to just wait. Am I supposed to be doing something? Am I supposed to be able to do something? Hello? Okay, so you have to be in third person for it to work. That's where I was going wrong. Your arcane fever worsened. Crash. It worked. By the name of the sun. Hira, the Siras Islands, a few miles from the shore near Al Rashim. You feel it too, don't you? The fever? Yes, it's different, isn't it? More intense. It is. It must be the eventuality trying to correct us, just as Dalmarek said it would. In other words, the clock is ticking. So we're actually in another reality? One close to our strand, yes. Another version of Vin. I... Forgive me. Frankly, I had doubts until the very end whether this would really work. All this, it's... Incredible. What now? What are... What are we gonna do? Look for someone. Prophet. Thank you. I know I'm not the easiest person to get along with, but this... It means a lot to me. Give me ten minutes, will you? Take a look around, do what you will, but be careful. Alright, I'll meet you here in ten minutes. Yes, you will. 
I can't actually move. Uh, there we go. I didn't even see which way you went. Ah, oh, here's a house. <laughs> I liked it. What do you think, love? It was magnificent. We'll make a great bard out of you yet. Really? Really. And you know what? Because you did so well, I'll tell you a secret. What is it? It's a secret, so I can only tell you and not mommy. Come over here and I'll tell you. Hey, that's not fair. Nothing in the world is fair, love. So, princess, what do you say? Uh, okay. Just a little closer. The secret is... That the tickle monster is hungry again! <laughs> <sighs> you too. Do you want to know another secret? The little princess is way past her bedtime already, and she knows it, because I have told her before. All right, all right, I'm going. Look how she's grown. Time really does fly, doesn't it? No argument there. I'll finish the letter, okay? You go upstairs and get some sleep. You've earned it. Okay. Don't be too long, all right? Don't worry, I won't. Hey, I love you. I love you too, Maya. <laughs> you just had to do it, didn't you? That was you up in the house, wasn't it? The Yuslan of this reality. Well observed. Our time is running out. Don't you feel it? The fever? Yes. Yes, I do. Yuslan, what are you doing? We need to get out of here. Huh? I'm afraid I've changed my mind. I'm staying. Uh... You can't. We need you. Not touching. My daughter. And my wife. Naya. The man that world out there made me into. I never wanted to be like him. All I wanted was to live a normal life. Like the Juzlan of this world gets to. But that's just the way of things. The world doesn't care what you want. It decides. We endure. Wait, you lost your wife and daughter in our world? Yes, I did. What happened? Does it matter? They're gone. Dead. Buried under the sand of the Red Desert. End of story. What? And now you want to stay here and die? Not here. I don't want them to find my body. Uh... I don't want to force him. Do you think this is what they would, would have wanted? For you to give up? Uh, spare me the pathos. The dead are dead, and what they would have wanted is irrelevant. Though it might amuse you to know that, until recently, I would have agreed with you. But that was before I saw this. It opened my eyes. 
we need you to find the Numinos. You're coming with me. Without you, whether you like it or not. Then you'll have to force me. Incapacitate. Yusalan doesn't seem to move at first glance, but you can see that his chest is moving slowly. He seems to be unconscious. What do you want to do? Carry Yusalan back to the portal and leave the eventuality. I don't want to leave him there to die. He might want it now, but... You're all right. I'm sorry. I, I don't know what got into me. I'm glad that you came back to your senses. Yes, so am I. The house, their voices, it was simply too much to bear. I must ask your forgiveness. Did you know what you'd find over there? Of course I did. But why? Why put yourself through that? Uh, I don't know. Maybe I thought it would help me to see them. Provide closure. Or maybe it was just the desire to see what might have been. As painful as it was. You've also lost people. Wouldn't you have done the same? No, thinking about what if all the time has no, never helped anyone. Mm. If you actually believe that, then I envy you. Anais, she was your wife, wasn't she? Why are you still talking to her? I do not want to talk about it. You've learned much about me in these past few hours. Leave me this last bit of privacy as a refuge. What are you going to do with the planeswalker? Good question. But now that I have done what I set out to do, I will tell the Grand Master and the Arch Magister about it. Maybe they can put it to good use. Now, frankly, I doubt it. The Aether Crystal has lost its power, and it'll be next to impossible to find a new one in the little time we have left at our disposal. And even if Horanthiel can get his hands on another one, the correction happens far too fast for us to gain worthwhile information about the cycle from other realities. But I'll leave the choice to him. There's nothing to forgive. If it hadn't been for our mission, I wouldn't have intervened. I am grateful that you saved me. Now that I'm back here, I know that staying would have been the wrong choice. Still, I don't regret doing what we did. It showed me something. I believe that concludes our business, does it not? Thank you, again. Here, this is the least I can give you for your efforts. I will see you back at the temple. There's a lot that needs doing. You actually gave me a bit. So I can't go back through it, and it's all stealing in here.
There's two more side quests done. Don't have too many to go. Still need to do that one. I wish it would show a marker what to do, where to go. They really give you no clue. Somewhere in the order? That one I still need to get the 10 sheaves of red vinroot. I've only got two. Those ones I need to find the monsters. That one I still got five fragments to find. And that's the main quest. There's a treat for the eye. What do you say, darling? You bloody wench thinks she's back to incarnate. Well, she'll get what's coming to her soon. Could use the fast travel scroll. Works from within buildings and everything, so I could use it. But I kind of want to heal first. Please don't freeze, don't crash on me, game. Good. So, I'm going to go back to the marketplace. Hear my words. Sir. Back home. We'll see what my um, arcane fever is like. It is currently at got quite bad. I should have taken it earlier. But now that is done, I need to take a quick break. I'll only be a minute or so and we'll be back very shortly. We can get right back into it. I will use the scroll to fast travel back to the cave. They've given me three of them, okay. I have a feeling this is going to um, be the point where I travel to the sky with them.
Well, any luck? What do you think about the cycle? You want to find the Star City, but what's the use if the cleansing is imminent? <laughs> well, you know, according to the prophecies, the Star City has existed for tens of thousands of years now. In Nasa Toron's days, in the days of the Pyrians, and even in the days of those who were before them. In other words, if the ancient fathers have survived all that time, they will survive these high ones, as you call them, as well. If they have survived the cleansing of the Pyrians, it raises the question of why they don't help us. Maybe they already have. The steel machine, this beacon you have built on the Eye of the Gods. Isn't it possible that the Pyrians acquired the schematics from the Ancient Fathers? And even if that's not the case, and the Ancient Fathers simply choose not to intervene, can you really blame them? Look at what mankind has done to the world ever since they've been here. Yep. If the Ancient Fathers consciously avoid interfering, they have their reasons. Don't judge them before you have met them. Uh, I don't want to call him selfish. So you want to seek shelter? Flee from the cleansing? <sighs> no. Gertrude and everything you see here is the result of decades of work. Not long ago, there was no threat at all from which he had to flee. What he wants is to fulfill his life's dream, his people's prophecies. That the Starlings one day return to where they came from, to their home. That's all. You truly believe you're from the stars. You were right about the cube. It was in the old ruin. Ah, he thought so. Very good work. Your reputation is well deserved. I have found the alloys. At least I think so. Perfect. That's them. Good work. Is it true that you built this entire ship all by yourself? He does have help, but indeed, according to your standards, he did it on his own. You know, many things become possible when one uses brains instead of muscles. Yep. That would be everything, right? Yes, he didn't expect it, but you and your order have been of great assistance indeed. Give him one more day and Gertrude will fly through the heavens like a fairy. Ah, and you should go to the captain's cabin before you leave. Your Grand Master arrived a short while ago, and it seems he wants to talk to you. Okay. Not stealing, I'm taking it. I can't use the chain. 
Okay. I guess I can't do anything down that way. That's out. Nothing there either for me. I didn't mean to take that one. Prophet, have you found the missing pieces? I have. Yes. He said the ship would be ready to fly in a day. Good. According to Kurmai, your journey will last two days. I've instructed him to first head for the Nexus Tower. According to the Starling writings, this is where the Ancient Fathers kept all their knowledge. The heart of the Star City, so to speak. Ah, and you will not be traveling on your own. The mercenary, Sakaresh, Magistra Yaela, and her adjutant will accompany you. I expect you to be back in the temple in one week, with knowledge about the Numinat. Will Ark withstand the sieges in the meantime? As long as Sharim's barriers are holding, yes. However, we should not rely on them. Good. Where are the others? They will be there when the ship leaves. Before you go, however, I suggest you return to Ark to properly equip yourself. Who knows what you will be facing up there? I think I've pretty much got everything. The only thing I could do is buy more learning and crafting books and learn those. I reckon I'm ready. Why do they keep putting me up here? 